What do you well, think? Well, this was a split second decision. <laughs> Just don't do what we did and go all the way to Kyoto. We wasted about 40 minutes. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. We don't know where we're going. Yay! Welcome to Kyoto, Japan. My name is Jasmine, for those of you who are new here, and we're here in Japan. We're here for two weeks, and we're here on a day trip today in Kyoto. Good morning and welcome to the Kyoto vlog. We've got the train over this morning quite early. We got early. We got to uh, the, our first destination at nine o'clock and we are currently here at Fushima Inari Taisha. Apologies if I've mispronounced that. I was trying to Google the pronunciation, but we don't currently have any internet connectivity. Around to the back of the shrine, there's nobody here. Everybody's just at the front. We literally got it to ourselves back here. We got here at 9 a.m. and it's already pretty busy, but we're gonna head up through the Tory gates and hopefully it'll get a little bit quieter. There's a lot of school groups here, so they're making up like large numbers of people. So yeah, trying it difficult to film without getting people in the background. Here's the start. Boars and monkeys. Boars and monkeys. I found a monkey, but I haven't seen a boar yet. <laughs> so we made it to the first viewpoint and now we're still heading up. I'm going to try and get to the summit, but it's very, very warm. So we made it to the second viewpoint and then actually looked at the map and it's still another 40 minutes up to the top so we're gonna 
go back down because it's just hit 31 degrees and we're all absolutely melting. I think the majority of the people that are also walking have decided to do the same. A lot of people are getting ice cream and drinks and then heading back down. So it was nice to walk up. It does get a bit quieter as you head, head further up and obviously a lot of people are turning back. So it would be very quiet if you did get to the top, but it's just, it's too warm. through good fortune and then if you get a bad fortune you tie it here on this tree to leave it here and don't take it with you there's quite a few of these little shops along the way both going up and going down we've got little souvenirs some of them have got snacks and drinks and some of the top one at the top of ice cream and there's vending machines everywhere as well just remember to pack a bag to put your rubbish in because there's not bins everywhere all the stray cats, 13 of them. Living in the shrine. But the other ones are like 10 miles, or like 10 days. The cat stole the show. It's just been about 10 people taking photos of it, me included. Make sure you bring cash. Nowhere takes card on in here. See the city of Kyoto there and the mountains. And then all of the shrines here. What a great view. I don't think the camera is picking it up very well. This is a very cool, very special place. Fun fact, Kyoto has over 2,000 temples and shrines. We're only going to get to see a handful of them today. And we'll definitely have to come back for another visit. <laughs> Not sure we'll ever get around 2,000. First stop of the day done. Now we're heading back to the train. Try and figure out how to get to our next place. Just found a little machine to get a souvenir. Yeah, that's just a pen. This is Kyoto. Oh, I get a good one. Oh, it's so tiny. Which one? I got the train. To be fair, that's one of the ones I wanted. I got the train. Nice. Just come to get some lunch and try and get out of the heat for a little bit. It's like 32 degrees, but the humidity is also really high. We are struggling a little in the heat. Not used to this heat. <laughs> View from the train station. You having a good day, Mum? Yes. But it's boiling, <laughs> melting, feet are aching. We don't know where we're going. We don't know where we're going. Yay! Don't leave me we've just got a couple of trains and now we're headed to the golden temple but we've got to try and figure out the buses this is the first time that we've ever got on a bus i've just had to google it to make sure that we're doing it right and you can pay with your sweeper cards hopefully no idea where we are Somewhere in Kyoto. It's okay. We survived the bus. That was pretty easy. There's the bus. 
So the bus was pretty easy. The green coloured buses are Kyoto city buses. So they're just local to the area. You can use your Suica card and you have to get on in the rear when the doors open and then press the button to stop. There's signs around the, on the screens telling you which stop in English and Japanese. And then when you're due to get off, you walk to the front of the bus, tap your Suica card. It's a flat fare of 230 yen for an adult. And I think it was 120 yen for a child. And it's as easy as that. There was a lot of people around us using Google Maps. So a lot of people were doing the same thing. <laughs> now we're gonna head to the temple. This is my new favorite drink, the peach water. It's in some of the vending machines, but it is in most of the shops. And it is very good for 32 degree heat. <laughs> so it is still very, very warm. And I don't think it's gonna get cooler any time soon, but we're gonna head up to the temple now. And hopefully, if the sun is out, hopefully it glitters on the roof and makes it as golden as possible. So actually, I'm not really complaining about the weather. It's just a busy day when it's hot. <laughs> it's a lot of it. I might have to get ice cream here. Yes, ice cream. Are we running out of cash? What? Kyoto is a lot of cash. So entry is 500 yen for an adult and 300 yen for a child. They do only accept cash and I've not seen any cash machines anywhere in the area. So make sure that you've got enough. You get this little paper ticket that you've got to show and a paper guide map. And there are the rules in the back. That was like the worst throw I've ever done in my life. That was the worst throw ever. It's like, no. It's bad. <laughs> no wishes for me. No wishes for you. I can't have historical sites without gift shop. These are the fortunes. We got a hundred on there. Machine's got good vibes, Mum. Oh, English ones are over there. Oh. Okay, so there's Japanese ones and then English ones there. They're easier to read. I'm trying to Google lens this fortune. It's saying really bad. It's saying really bad? It's not. It's not picking it up. This is the information for the votive tablets. You write down your, you pick your, you pick your design, write down your wish, and then hang it on the shelf. They can be as specific or as generic as you want, and then you add your name and today's date. Ready to be read out? Mm, bad fortunes. Thank you very much. It's not been too busy actually. There's quite a lot of people here, but it's not been unbearable. It's been nice to walk around. Back on the bus. So 
we had the option of getting two more buses to go to the bamboo grove but because we've got the JR passes it actually makes more sense for us to go from here to Kyoto using the JR passes and then from Kyoto across I think that works out more cost effective for us and I think it only adds like a couple of minutes and it saves the faff of trying to find out the times of the buses and things like that so it's a bit of a roundabout way but Kyoto is not as well connected as the other cities that we've been in so just bear that in mind how many trains do you reckon we've been on? Oh, my goodness. about 50? Oh, wow. should have counted we should have done an account on 200. how many times we say oh that's cute, that's so cute. and how many trains we've been on Here's the train. I think this is the quietest I've ever seen a train platform. There is people behind me. <coughs> the train pulled up to here and then it changed to the train that we actually needed so we didn't need to go anywhere because we're on the same train technically you ready for our absolute blunder i know in my last clip i said that we had to go all the way back to kyoto don't rely on Google Maps if you come in here. It was completely incorrect. It told us that we had to get a minimum of two buses and then a really long walk to get here, but you don't. Instead of when you go back to the original station, um, you just get on, on the opposite line and go to Saga Ari, Arashiyama station. We're in the area now. The bamboo grove is only a 15 minute walk away. Everything is just in the area. And this is the only station that you can use JR passes on as well. So make sure that you are coming to this station. Just don't do what we did and go all the way to Kyoto. We wasted about 40 minutes. It was actually quite good though, because we got to stand right at the front where the train was and see the train lines going past. It's a great view for sightseeing. And because the JR pass is inclusive of all of the trains, you could actually just get on a line and go and sit on it if you wanted to, just if, if you wanted a rest and you wanted to take in the scenery that way so but we're here we made it so that's all that matters <laughs> but now we've just got a, now we're just gonna have a wander around maybe go and grab some food from somewhere have a bit of a refresh grab a drink and then go and see some more sights we did have to knock off one of the temples just because we didn't have time um, but to be honest it's really really warm to be walking around anyway so we could have probably done with the rest Something to match up your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about this one? Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, yeah, orange. I'll what do you well, think? Well, this was a split second decision. <laughs> Got my little bag. <laughs> and these very comfortable shoes. Yeah, they look fun. <laughs> so oh. we. Literally, we're walking to the bamboo forest and we passed a sign that said kimono rental for like a very short period of time. And then two hour went plan in. For 2, she literally dressed me in the space of about two minutes. Here we are. <laughs> Hair did. Hair did. <laughs> so efficient. Hell yeah. Sunglasses really compliment the look. They actually do, they do match they? really well. Yeah. Okay, I might leave them on then because honestly I can't see. And
I'm just video evidence in of how our week has gone when it comes to making decisions. about the bamboo forest. It's nice and shady. They're like a panda. <laughs> this is what I went for. 2000. I only got an hour because they're closing, but it was still fun. This is the first machine that I've seen that only takes cash. Yeah, yeah but this is like a full place. So we've noticed this in a few places now, but they just, we've been in a couple of shops and restaurants where they just have one English song, but it's just played on repeat. So you're sat eating a meal and you hear the same song like six, seven, eight times. We've got Whitney Houston, How Will I Know, on now, and it's been playing for the past 15 minutes on repeat. I don't know if this is a thing in like the rest of Japan, but it's something that we've seen, we've come across three times in the past like week. So I don't know, but I just thought it was quite funny. <laughs> That's why we went for tea. Arage. So just to let everybody know, everywhere seem, everywhere in this area seems to be closed by 6pm so it's not like everywhere else that is open a little bit later. And we just bumped into some people that were also equally shocked that it was closing between 5 and 6. So get your plans in early because then the whole area just shuts down and it disappears as soon as the sun goes as well. Everybody's gone. Thank you for coming along with us to our day trip to Kyoto. If you enjoyed it, please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of our Japan adventure.